Hey there. It is uh, Friday, May 15th, the uh, end of the second week of our full new rollout. Like I said, 30 days for for uh, for a lot of things to be rolled in. So this week, some really new... One of the things I'm really excited about... Actually, there's a whole bunch. I'm going to... Oh, this is going to take a while. Let me, let me just calm down for a second. Because... Mm -hmm. Uh, just found it this morning. Up and working is the student uploader, meaning the review uploader for our silver, platinum, no gold, golden up members. Um, and so it is. Uh, I'm hoping somebody will give it a try today because my my plan is to if if something comes in for a review, I'm going to try to get get it up the next day. Now, if there are like five or six, it might take a little while, but. But uh, right now, if you want, if you have something you want reviewed, get hit the button up at the top that says student reviews. There are a whole bunch of little options up there now, lessons, packages, things like that. And, um, and it's working. Okay. So um, what else, uh, some other kind of new, new stuff that happened this week is, well, I'm looking heavily at the request a lesson stuff. We're kind of revamping on how that all works too. And what I just played right there, I'm going to leave that as a mystery. See if you can figure out what it was. That'll be the mystery tune of the week. Um, because it's something that one of my students was working on, and we dug up, and it was done a little more electrically. Well, generally done more electrically by the folks that did it. But um, then, uh, then the guy that wrote it sometimes plays it acoustically, and that's what uh, my student was working on. Except that can't sing it up there. So we had to transpose it out of A minor into E minor. And then maybe capo it up a little bit, but topic for a different day. So um, anyway, I, so I even just checked the old, the really old request a lesson thing, and two or three things are, are really cool about it. One is I still look at that thing because those lessons, those requests go back over ten years, and uh, and I'm I'm still kind of my goal is to sort of try to knock off some of the ones that are at the top. I'll get more to that in a second, because there's there's one floating around at the top. That I'm messing with, too. So, um, that was from the movie, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? So, that's on my hit list. And... Um, but first, let me just give you a quick review of some of the other things that happened this week. Um, we got out a couple of new tunes that I'd mentioned last week. Paul Simon. And uh, R.E.M., Fall on Me. And have been working, I've been helping out a lot with uploading some, uh, we're, we're updating a lot of the lessons that were done towards the end of last year that now need to be kind of manually uh Entered. So we're get, we got up uh, a few, an old one of Vanessa's, Fall at Your Feet, um, Forever Love, another one of Vanessa's, I think. Uh, a couple of mine, The Low Spark of High Heeled Boys, is live now. And um, anyway, so uh, every day we're getting getting caught up on probably the last, mm, there are probably 10 or so more lessons that will be rolling out uh, really shortly of ones that were available at the old site, but now we're getting them, getting them here. And um, let's see, what else did I want to talk about? Um, uh, oh, yes, so the, this is a really strange coincidence because I, I heard a tune the other day that, was it a student working on it? I don't know why this one crossed my mind, but It's the most recent request on the really old recommend lesson thing. So really want to encourage you to, uh, I'll have a little, I'll, I'll be putting up a video a little bit later about some of the things that I like to look for in, uh, in requests for lessons. And um, cause, well, just because it's, it's interesting to hear why, why people want to learn certain things. And um, the, there's a nice finger picking one. I'm trying to look for some beginning lessons because I sort of have gotten off on this tangent of of working on really complicated things, which sort of brings me to um, next week's lessons. One of them 
is really easy. Which was a recommendation from one of our members. So that is Joanne, Mike Nesmith, from 1970. His, his kind of first big hit after being a monkey. Um, and so anyway, that's coming up next week. And the number two song on the list forever... Finally, getting around after years of struggling with trying to get Operator done, it's coming. So, if you've been hanging out waiting for more Jim Croce songs, um, I think I've teased, I've, I've played a little bit of that before, and so I, I finally got back on the bandwagon of, um, you know, working on double tracking things, and of course the lesson is going to include... Maury Mulezen's part, so that is, um, anyway, really thrilled about that. Uh, let's see. What else is going on? I was, um, there was another song I was thinking about that I wanted to talk about today. Was it Neil Young? No, 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 no. Oh, oh, yeah. Today, May 15th, 1954, Red Letter Day in the history of music. It has nothing to do with that song, but it was the birthday of the Fender Stratocaster. 1954, Fender released the first Stratocaster. Leo Fender, who was not a guitar player, was an, an electronic engineer, more or less, and, uh, but, you know, put, put a company together to electrify a guitar. Leo had been working on it for a little while, and of course, um, Gibson was, was uh, doing stuff around the same time. It came a little bit later, I think. Uh-oh, check your facts. We need fact checkers, like the, the CNN guy. Um, yeah, never mind. Um, anyway, so uh, let's see. I think, I think that was about all I wanted to talk about, but congratulations to everybody that has a descendant of Leo Fender's guitar. And um, my, first, my first good electric guitar, I had, I had a really cheap one that my, my mom bought for me when I was probably about... 11 or 12 that was like a knockoff of one of those i think we ended up paying like 60 bucks for a guitar and a small amp kind of like kind of like that one right over there um but uh always sort of dreamed okay someday i'm gonna get get a stratocaster and be like a real rock and roller um worked out not quite that way i think when i was in about 1970 a little later 71 i guess um did manage to get an electric guitar that i really of course the usual story that I wish I still had now. It was the first year of the Telecaster Thin Line. This was this beautiful maple guitar with an F hole, and um, had a and ended up buying it. Had a big amp. So when I was in high school, I had this Telecaster and a uh, Bandmaster Reverb amp that was you know like it was it was this monster thing, a four speaker cabinet. I think yeah, I think it was like four twelves. It was huge. And then, and then the head that was separate, that was the Bandmaster amp with reverb. So, uh, regret selling those a long time ago, but you know, I, I got no room for any of that kind of stuff anymore. So, uh, let's see, what could I play out with?
about what was going on there. Let's have a mini lesson here. I was playing chords, I was only playing the chords on two strings in the beginning. Second string and fourth string. Playing notes that are a sixth apart, starting at the tenth fret. So what we have there is notes out of an A minor chord. And what I have is the root of the chord on the second string and the third of the chord on the fourth string. And then it's just parallel sixth. Now a sixth again, what's the deal with thirds? That kind of ran through the, the thing, the, the, the thread, the forum the other day, or last week. Um, I do have to apologize for my uh, dear relative, Agent Cooper, Actually, for me, not deleting Agent Cooper's post after we were just testing the forum to see if it worked. But uh, like I said last week, I appreciate Vanessa coming in with an answer and things like that. Anyway, so thirds and sixths are the same two notes, just depending on which one's on the bottom. So a sixth is an inversion of a third. And so what I've got going here is two notes that are a sixth apart, but they're the root and third. The third on the bottom, the root on the top of an A minor chord. Now then they both drop down so that is, this is going to be confusing, but this is what we call a major sixth because it's a minor third inverted. The next third goes down to a minor sixth which is a major third inverted and what we have is the chord a whole step lower, major chord, below. Then it goes to another mi major sixth, sorry, minor sixth, and another one, and another one, and then, not another one, two of them there. Then, I'm messing up the whole major minor thing because I'm trying to, I'm trying to like give you a little bit too much information. Anyway, give that a try. It's either two notes that are at the same fret or two notes where the one on the second string is a fret lower. And those are all pairs of notes out of an A Dorian scale. Got it? That's an A to A scale that has just an F sharp in it. Okay. You know what started this whole deciding it was like Friday fax day? My wife asked me to do something kind of unusual this morning, and then that was uh, put together a video for her class of some Friday fun facts, the musical ones. And so, so I dug up some fun facts. This is where I still, actually, the Leo Fender thing was in the newspaper today, of all things. San Jose Mercury News had, you know, on this day in history, uh, yesterday Lewis and Clark left Illinois or something like that, you know, but today, and all these kind of weird things that happened over over the last, well, you know, four or five fun facts. And um, uh, one of today's said 1954, Leo Fender and the Fender Guitar Company released the Stratocaster. So, uh, yeah, so I had to dig up some other stuff from like May, like the fact that in 1968, the Beatles started Apple Records when we all know that, uh, well, you know, that was fabulous for some people like James Taylor. Um, and uh, what else happened in 1967, Paul met Linda. Today, May 15th, there you go. Um, 1981, well, that was, this was just in the week, never mind, okay. Rambling off. Oh, I hope everybody has got a chance to, um, coming up in a few weeks, first or second Tuesday in June, I will be hosting a meeting of the Guitar League, sponsored by, not sponsored, but like, uh, you know, if you remember a couple of years ago, or last year, yeah, I did one of these in Phoenix, did two of them actually in Phoenix, and uh, we'll be doing one in uh, Dallas, probably from like right here, from the confines of TG Central. Um, don't think I'm getting on a plane to go to Dallas in three weeks, but uh, no, there is no, no doubt about it. Anyway. Not ready to get on a plane. Well, I hope everybody is getting some guitar playing in and enjoying some of our new lessons. And 
practice, 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 work on theory more. I've had a few conversations with some people lately and that um, I'd say, yeah, I can, I can do a lot of stuff, but I never know why this sounds good. Why does this sound good? Wow. He even used the same thing as at the beginning to the Lee Shore. There was something, something similar to that. Okay, that is it. Happy May 15th. I'll be back next week.